Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to do some balayage techniques. This is my client here. The last time that she got her hair done was probably about almost eight months ago. So if you guys haven't already, please follow my Instagram. I will link it right here. It's at hair by Ashley Ann. Um, go ahead and give me a follow and let's go ahead and get started in today's video. Okay guys, so I'm going to be going in with my favorite bleach and this is the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me. And I'm going to be using a scoop and then a half a scoop. She does have a lot of hair. And also for developer, I'm going to be using a 20 volume. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite brushes to apply and this is from Color Track. I love them because they are so soft. And I'm also going to be using my favorite foils that are from Fermar. I love these ones because they are long and they always work good with girls that have long hair. Okay guys, so I am starting off in the back and I'm just going to be taking horizontal sections across and I did section off the hair into four quadrants. So right now I'm going to be taking a slice and I'm going to back combing it. My client does wear her hair up a lot so this is going to stand out especially once she puts her hair up in a ponytail or a bun. You're going to see those bright pieces of blonde. Okay guys, so I am just applying this and I'm going to be taking it all the way up until I hit that cushion area um, that I back combed. And I'm also going to be taking another foil and I'm going to be placing it right on top and I'm going to fold it. Okay guys, so I'm going to be taking another slice and I'm going to be back combing it. And also I wanted to show you guys something. When you guys are doing balayage or even a foilage, something that comes in handy is this little board right here. I got mine from Color Track, and I highly recommend it because when you are doing balayage or even highlights, anything like that, it applies the color so well and it keeps it kind of sturdy so you have a hard background and it just makes the color apply a lot more better and softer. Okay guys, so another technique that I'm going to show you guys that you guys can do for balayage is you can do a slice like I showed you guys before or you can do a weave. I'm going to be doing a weave right here. Because we are trying to get her light but yet we still want to keep dimension throughout her hair, I'm going to be doing two slices and two weaves. And as you guys can see, my weave is on the thin side. It's not a thick weave. I want it to look very natural and I want it to look very blended so I'm just doing a thin weave here.
Okay guys, so I just finished with her whole head. Now pretty much that same technique that I just showed you guys, I did all throughout the head, including the front part. I took it just the sections as I did in the back. So I'm gonna let her probably sit for about a good 30 to 35, maybe even 40 minutes. And I will continue to check up on her and I will show you guys the rest. Okay guys, so what I'm doing here is, as you guys could tell, the back lifted beautifully. She lifted to about a level 8 and 9, and the hair is still in good shape, so that's a good thing. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a damp, wet towel, and I'm going to be taking off the rest of the bleach that is on the hair. This allows it to stop breakage, and also to, when you would just allow the client to sit there, even though she's already processed, a lot of the times breakage and damage comes in, so I am avoiding that, and I am taking out the bleach. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be hitting those ends that I did not bleach and I'm going to be using a 40 volume developer with a Schwarzkopf blonde meat and I'm just going to be balayaging these while the rest of the hair continues to lift. Okay guys, so for toner, I'm going to be doing a root tap on her. We're not doing a root smudge, just a root tap. So I'm going in with shades EQ 7N and I'm also going to be going in with a 6N8. This is just going to be for her root tap. It's going to take out any warmth that lifted. Also for the mid shaft to ends, I'm going in with a 9N, a 9V, and also a little bit of an 8VB. 8VB is going to cancel out any orange that lifted throughout the hair. So as you guys can see for the root tap, I am literally just tapping the roots. I am not dragging it down because I don't want it to be too much of a root melt. So I am just going to be tapping that. And also too, once I am done with the root tap, I am going to go in with the rest of the toner in the bowl. And I'm going to probably let her sit for about a good 10 minutes. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Oh, it came out so pretty and her hair was still so long and healthy. So I'm gonna go show you guys the back and underneath the hair so you guys can see that blend is so gorgeous and it blends all throughout the hair. She's got blonde all through underneath and also too, if she lifts up her hair, which usually she does, she's going to see those bright blonde places. Also too, this is indoor lighting with a ring light. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys the outdoor lighting because it does play a huge 
difference. So this is how it looks outside. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it, and I will be back with more videos. Bye, guys.